21 Astonishing Things About Space. We talk a lot about the things happening on planet Earth, but what about things happening in outer space? Here's some of the coolest things about the universe you may not have learned before. Welcome to Taltanic, I'm Wacky Universe, and I'll be guest hosting your video today. 21. What the universe tastes like. If you ever asked yourself what space would taste like, it seems there's an answer for you. Astronomers from the Max Planck Institute reported in 2009 that space could possibly taste like raspberries. In their survey, the astronomers came across the presence of a substance known as ethyl formate, the same thing that gives raspberries their flavor. Not only is it found in the red fruit, but ethyl formate has also been described to smell like rum. So there you have it, folks. If you want to know what the universe tastes like, it's like alcohol and fruit. From this same study, researchers feel they're closer to finding amino acids in space, with amino acids considered part of the building blocks of life. 20. The largest volcano in the solar system You probably never would have thought that the largest volcano and mountain we know of, at least in our solar system, cannot be found on Earth, and instead, we look to our colder neighbor, Mars. The Olympus Mons volcano measures about the size of Arizona at 374 miles or 624 kilometers wide and rises 16 miles or 25 kilometers from the ground. By comparison, the largest volcano on Earth, Mauna Loa, measures at 6.3 miles or 10 kilometers from the sea floor. Compared to Olympus Mons, Mount Everest only measures 5.5 miles above sea level. However, the Martian mountain only has a slope of 5% mostly due to it being a shield volcano, which does not spew lava, and instead has lava flowing down it. 19. The Party Constellation The constellation of Aquila can be found over 10,000 light years away from Earth. Aquila also contains a gas cloud named G34.3, discovered in 1995. The gas cloud measures at 1,000 times the diameter of our whole solar system. In all that gas, it also contains enough alcohol to make 300,000 pints of beer every day for 1 billion years. But before you go launching yourself 58 quadrillion miles away, the cloud also contains other substances aside from alcohol, such as ammonia, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen cyanide. 18. The Center of the World the Sun came to be about 4.6 billion years ago and counts as only one of the 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. In comparison to a lot of the other suns, ours is relatively younger. The more visible part of the Sun itself has a temperature of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 5,500 degrees Celsius. All of the planets in our solar system revolve around the Sun. But with how vast our solar system is, you may not have realized that the Sun takes up 99.8% of the solar system's mass. It measures 109 times the diameter of our planet, with the Sun theoretically able to hold about 1 million Earths inside of it. 17. The Slow Rotation If you notice the days getting longer and longer every year, you're not necessarily going crazy. Every century, the Earth's rotation slows down at a rate of nearly 2 milliseconds. So, sure, while most of us can't really physically discern that ourselves, the days people experienced centuries ago were slightly shorter than the ones we're experiencing now and will continue to experience in the future. Astronomers came to this conclusion after comparing over 3,000 years of celestial records. Back when Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth's days went from 6 hours long to 24 after the Moon was created. 16. Pluto vs. Australia Many people feel bad that Pluto no longer gets to be considered a planet. The ruling happening in 2006 after it was decided that Pluto does not dominate the neighborhood of its orbit. The dwarf planet even seems to be smaller than the continent of Australia, by width at least. Pluto measures at 1,430 miles or 2,302 kilometers wide, whereas Australia measures at 2,511 miles or 4,042 kilometers wide from east to west. In regards to mass, Pluto measures about one-sixth of the size of planet Earth. 15. Part of the Earth You always hear about how the Earth formed from the Big Bang event that happened 4.5 billion years ago. But what about our trusty sidekick, the Moon? Well, the Moon used to be part of the Earth once upon a time. Not long after the Big Bang, a huge outer force the size of a planet collided with the Earth. A large chunk of the Earth floated off but not too far away, one day becoming the moon we all know and love. 14. The Moving Moon The moon stabilizes the Earth's rotation. 
our planet's only satellite put out there by the universe and not by man. Because of the moon's force of gravitation, tides occur in the Earth's oceans as the moon pulls parts of the Earth closer to it. We've already discussed how the moon used to be part of the Earth and has been around for almost as long as the Earth has. But it seems the moon moves at about 1.48 inches or 3.78 centimeters away from the Earth every year, which may cause the Earth in turn to slow its orbit. However, experts say we needn't worry of the Earth becoming unstable since it would take billions of years for this movement to affect much of anything. 13. A Day on Venus A day is measured by a planet's complete rotation around the Sun. For Earth, this takes exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 41 seconds to rotate on its axis just once. When it comes to Venus, for the Sun to appear in the same place in the sky, this takes 117 Earth days. Its orbit around the Sun takes 225 Earth days, which makes their year. Compare that to Earth 365, over time, everything just gets relatively strange when you visit Venus. 12. The Biggest Ocean On Earth alone, we have 320 million cubic miles of water, with 1% of the Earth's entire volume attributed to the clear, sparkling stuff. And while the Earth is covered in over 70% of H2O, our planet still doesn't possess the largest ocean in the solar system. Instead, we look to Jupiter, with its moon Ganymede holding 39 times the amount of water the Earth has, although all of it comes in the form of ice. Even compared to Pluto, Earth still comparatively has less water. 11. Mercury is shrinking Now that Pluto's been demoted, the title of smallest planet in our solar system goes to Mercury which also happens to be shrinking. The second hottest planet in the galaxy continues to contract, making itself smaller every day, faster than experts thought. Reported in 2014, the planet's crust contracted by 4.4 miles or 7 kilometers. The whole surface of Mercury only has one continental plate, and over the years since it was created, Mercury has cooled down as it does not have an internal source to retain heat. As the liquid core solidifies and cools, it shrinks. 9. The Edge of the Solar System We tend to think that our solar system is just one small part of the huge universe. And while that's true, let's not forget just how big our own solar system actually is. Because of the extent of astronomy they teach us in school, most people consider Pluto to be at the edge of the system, when actually, the edge of the solar system can be found 1,000 times further than where Pluto is. What's more, scientists have even theorized there may be a planet 10 times the size of Earth floating right around back there. 8. Far, far away In 1977, NASA launched a space probe called Voyager 1 into the sky, and it's been up there for over 40 years. To this day, Voyager 1 still communicates with the Deep Space Network, providing data and listening to the network's commands. The space probe currently can be detected 11.7 billion miles or 18.8 .8 billion kilometers away from planet Earth, making it the most distant man-made object ever. 8. The Silence of Space Watching Star Wars, you wouldn't know it, but everything in space is silent. Sound vibrations can't really travel through space all that well. Sound can still technically travel in space, but at the level humans hear, space for the most part sounds like nothing. Space acts as a vacuum and therefore has no medium for sound to travel through. But since space is never really completely empty, there may be a few places where sound can be better detected. 7. Forearms, not two. In 2015, NASA confirmed that our own galaxy indeed has four arms and not just two. For a while, we've known that the Milky Way falls into the category of a spiral galaxy in terms of its shape. And for decades, astronomers have been trying to figure out just how many arms this place has. Data provided by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, better known as the acronym WISE, show the Milky Way has four arms. WISE used the galaxy gas and dust to trace the shape of the spirals. 6. The Planet of Burning Ice this paradoxical planet was named Gliese 436b after it was discovered in 2004 by R. Paul Butler and Jeffrey Marcy. It can be found 2.5 million miles away from its sun, which in terms of space, that's actually kind of close, as Mercury is located 36 million miles away from our sun. This planet completes its revolution around its sun in two days and 15.5 hours in Earth time. It's called a planet of burning ice due to its exterior of hydrogen and helium so close to the sun, with the water of its core compressed into ice. 5. All the stars in the universe 
Although it may be difficult to discern the activity in other galaxies around the universe, if scientists take the star production rate in the Milky Way as the average, then that means 400 million stars are born every day, meaning that every year, in the whole universe, 150 billion stars are born. 4. The Real Hottest Planet We briefly mentioned how Mercury was the second hottest planet in the world. But hold up, isn't it the closest planet to the Sun? Since Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere that retains and renews its heat, the heat it does get from the Sun goes away faster than it does on Venus, making it cooler. On Venus, the average temperature reaches 875 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the maximum temperature on Mercury only goes up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. 3. A Hollow Moon You've probably heard of the Hollow Earth conspiracy, but most probably haven't heard of the Hollow Moon. Stability on Earth relies a lot on the Moon, but what exactly do you know about that sphere in the sky? The Hollow Moon theory stems from the occurrence of moonquakes. In 1969, the American Space Agency created their own collision on the lunar surface just to see how the Moon would react. It ended up reverberating the way a bell does, and did this for over an hour. It was also said the Moon wobbled, as if it was hollow inside the way a bell is. 2. Smells like steak We already discussed how space tastes like raspberries and rum, but what does it smell like? According to astronauts, the smell of space wafts in something familiar. The scent of welding fumes, hot metal, and even seared steak. Sounds like a grill. Astronauts get a whiff of this outer space barbecue after they come back from spacewalks and remove their helmets. This fragrance apparently comes from the high-energy vibrating particles that get brought back into the ship. 1. The Space Diamond Back in 2004, astronomers said they found a huge diamond in space, one that may be the size of the Earth, if not bigger. This diamond appears to scientists as a cold and faint white dwarf. Its temperature may be so cold that the carbon of the planet may have crystallized, turning into something like a diamond. Thank you for watching this video. Stop by my channel on the way out, and I'll see you next time.